Hello, this uh, video is in response to somebody, I think on Facebook, who asked if I could do a video on, specifically on warning signs of verbal, of uh, warning signs of abusive people, verbal and physical. And um, like, if you're dating somebody, what to watch out for. And I'm narrating it like this because I'm tired, so yeah. <laughs> as long as you can hear me, who cares? Warning signs of a domestic abuser from hiddenhurt.com. If we can recognize the warning signs of a domestic abuser or someone who is likely to have an abusive personality, we could save ourselves and our loved ones a lot of grief and heartache. Many survivors of abusive relationships have so often said that if they had just known the warning signs, they would have never gotten involved with their abusive partner. The good news is that it's possible to predict the likelihood of the person you are currently with or about to become involved with being a domestic abuser. It is simply a matter of having the knowledge of the warning signs to look out for and being sufficiently aware to notice them, which includes not being blinded by love, lust, or desperation. Below are a list of behaviors, traits, and beliefs which are common in abusive personalities. These are commonly known as warning signs of abusive personalities. While not all abusive people show the same traits or display the tendencies to the same extent, if several behavioral traits are present, there is a strong tendency towards abusiveness. Generally, the more warning signs are present, the greater the likelihood of violence. In some cases, an abuser may only have a couple of behavioral traits that can be recognized, but they are very exaggerated, like extreme jealousy over ridiculous things. Often, the domestic abuser will initially try to explain his or her behavior as signs of their love and concern, and the victim may be flattered at first. But as time goes on, the behaviors may become more severe and serve to dominate, control, and manipulate the victim. Jealousy. At the beginning of a relationship, an abuser will always say that the jealousy is just a sign of love. He or she may question you about whom you have spoken to or seen during the day and may accuse you of flirting or be jealous of time that you spend with family, friends, children, or hobbies which do not include him or her. As the jealousy progresses, he or she may call you frequently during the day or drop by unexpectedly. He may be unhappy about or refuse to let you work for fear that you'll meet someone else. He'll check the car mileage or ask friends to keep an eye on you. Jealousy is not proof of love. It is a sign of insecurity and possessiveness. Controlling behavior. Controlling behavior is often disguised or excused as concern. Concern for your safety, your emotional or mental health, the need to use your time well or to make sensible decisions. Your abuser may be angry or upset if you are late coming home from work, from shopping, from visiting friends, etc., even if you told him or her that you would be back later than usual. Your abuser may question you closely about where you were, whom you spoke to, the content of every conversation you held, or why you did something he or she was not involved in. As this behavior gets worse, you may not be allowed to make personal decisions about the house, clothing, going to church, or how you spend your time or money, and even make you ask for permission to leave the house or the room. Alternately, he or she may theoretically allow you your own decisions, but penalize you for making the wrong ones. Concern for our loved ones to a certain extent is normal, but trying to control their every move is not. Can quick involvement. Many victims of abuse dated or knew their abuser for less than six months before they were engaged or living together. The abuser will often claim love at first sight and that you were made for each other, or that you were the only person whom he could ever talk to so openly, feel so at home with, could understand him so well. Uh, he or she may tell you that they have never loved anyone so much or felt so loved by anyone so much before, when you have really only known each other for a short amount of time. He or she needs someone so desperately and will pressure you to commit to him or her or to make love before you feel that the relationship has reached that stage. Um, he or she may also make you feel guilty for not committing yourself to him or her. Unrealistic expectations. The abuser may expect you to be the perfect husband, wife, mother, father, lover, or friend. He or she is very dependent on you for all his or her needs and may tell you that he or she can fulfill all your needs as a lover, friend, and companion. Statements such as, if you love me, I'm all you need, you are all I need, are, co are very common. Your abuser may expect you to provide everything for him or her emotionally, practically, financially, or spiritually, and then blame you for not being perfect or living up to the expectation. Isolation. Um, where am I? Isolation. The abuser may try to curtail your social interaction. 
he or she may prevent you from spending time with your friends or family and demand that you only go places together. He or she may accuse you of being tied to your mother's apron strings, not being committed to the relationship, or view people who are your personal friends as causing trouble or trying to put a wedge between you two. He or she may want to live in the country without a phone, not let you use the car, stop you from working or gaining further education or qualifications, blame shifting for problems. Very rarely will an abusive personality accept responsibility for any negative situation or problem. If they are unemployed, can't hold down a job, or are thrown out of college or university, or fall out with their um, family, it is always someone else's fault, be it the boss, government, or their mother. They may feel that someone is always doing them wrong or out to get them. He or she may, may make mistakes and then blame you for upsetting him or her or for preventing him or her from doing as they wish to. Blame shifting for feelings. The abuser will deny feelings stem from within, within them, but see them as reactions to your behavior or attitude towards them. They will tell you that you make me mad, you're hurting me by not doing what I ask, or that they cannot help but feel mad, upset, etc. Feelings may be used to manipulate you, such as, I would not be angry if you didn't, blah, blah, blah. Positive emotions will also often be seen as originating outside the abuser, but are more difficult to detect. Statements such as, you make me happy, or you make me feel good about myself, are also signs that the abuser feels that you're responsible for his sense of well-being. Either way, you become in their minds the cause of good and bad feelings and are therefore responsible for their emotional well-being and happiness. Consequently, you are to blame for any negative feelings such as anger, upset, or depression. Hypersensitivity. Most abusers have very low self-esteem and are therefore easily insulted or upset. They may claim their feelings are hurt when they get really angry or take unrelated comments as personal attacks. They may perceive normal setbacks like having to work additional hours or being asked to help out, receiving a parking fine, etc. as grave personal injustices. They may view your preference for something which differs from their own as a criticism of their taste and therefore themselves, like liking blue wallpaper rather than pink. Cruelty to animals. The abuser may punish animals brutally, be insensitive to their pain or suffering, or neglect to care for the animal to the point of cruelty, like not feeding them all day, leaving them in areas he knows will cause them suffering or distress. There is a strong correlation between cruelty to animals and domestic violence, which is still being researched. For more information and personal experiences, see Domestic Violence and Cruelty to Animals. Cruelty to Children the abuser's unrealistic expectations of their partner are often mirrored in their attitude towards children. He or she will think of children as small adults and blame the children for not being responsible, for having common sense or understanding, or for not having common sense or understanding. He or she may expect children to be capable far beyond their ability, like getting angry with a two-year-old for wetting their pants or being sick on the carpet, or waking up at night or not being or being upset by nightmares, and will often mete out punishments for naughtiness that the child cannot be aware of. Abusers may tease children until they cry or punish them way beyond what could be deemed appropriate. He or she may not want children to eat at the table, expect them to stay quiet, or keep to their room all evening while he or she is at home. Some, since abusers want all your attention to themselves, they resent you spending time with the children or any normal demands and needs the children may have. As above, cruelty to animals, there is a very strong link between domestic violence and child abuse. Playful force Placeful use of force in sex. He or she may pressurize you to agree to forceful or violent acts during sex or want to act out fantasies where you are helpless. A male abuser may let you know that the idea of rape excites him. He or she may show little concern about whether you want to have intercourse and uses sulking or anger to manipulate you into compliance. Starting sex while you are sleeping, demanding sex when you are ill or tired, or refusing any form of intimacy unless you're willing to go all the way can all be signs that he or she could be sexually abusive or sexually violent. Rigid gender roles. Abusers usually believe in stereotypical gender roles. A man may expect a woman to serve him, stay at home, obey him in all things, even things that are criminal in nature. A male abuser will often see women as inferior to men, more stupid, unable to be a whole person without a relationship. Female abusers may expect the man to provide for them entirely, shift the responsibility for her well-being onto him, or heckle him as being not a real man if he shows any weakness or emotion. Verbal abuse. This is a fairly important warning sign and really quite easy to spot once you can tell all the little ways in which you're being verbally abused. In addition to saying things that are meant to be cruel and hurtful, either in public or in private, this can include f degrading remarks or running down any accomplishments. 
Often the abuser will tell you that you are stupid, could not manage without him or her. He or she may keep you up all night to sort this out once and for all, or even wake you up at night to continue to verbally abuse you. The abuser may even say kind, kind things to your face, but speak badly about you to friends and family. Check out verbal abuse for more information. I guess they link to a site or something. 